We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. Greetings in the wonderful, precious, holy name of Jesus. It's so good to be with you. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here, and I'm so happy to be with you again. It is a brand new day. It's a wonderful day that God has given us. It is a day to live to the fullest. It is a day to press on, a day to hold on to the promises of God and come back with a testimony. And I decree and declare over you, my dear friend, even as today is Thursday and I speak special declarations of faith, I decree and declare, as you hold on to the promises of God, your testimony is coming in the name of Jesus. Hold on to his word and you will do great things. As we begin, my dear friend, let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, say this prayer out loud with me. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come and touch me today, Lord Holy Spirit. Take over control even in this place where I'm watching. Begin to move. Begin to do miracles. Begin to do signs and wonders. And take me to a greater glory and a deeper level. I ask this in Jesus' name. And I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now, my dear friend, as we have prayed that prayer, we're going to go straight into a time of thanking and praising God. And as we discern His presence, then we'll begin to pray. And then I'll begin to read a scripture, promise, and I'll speak a special declaration over you. And I trust, know, and believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, let us begin. Father, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for another day. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the favor. Thank you for the grace. Thank you for sustaining my dear friend who's watching this video, for sustaining my dear friend's family, for sustaining and supplying for my dear friend, for making a way for my dear friend where there seems to be no way. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love that never runs out. Even today, Lord, bless my dear friend mightily. And even as you do so, receive all the glory, receive all the honor, receive all the praise. We take a moment just now, Father, to thank you for Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, and for the full and finished work of the cross, that through him we shall be saved. Through him we shall be born again. Through him we shall enjoy goodness and mercy all the days of our life. Through him we shall be reconciled back to you, and we can enjoy your presence, your presence that is so amazing. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. We give you praise and thank you for joy. We give you praise and thank you for peace. We give you praise and thank you for hope. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Now, my dear friend, we're going to begin. As we begin, I want to encourage you, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend. As I read your promises and speak these special declarations in line with your promises over my dear friend, bless my dear friend mightily in line with your word. Bless my dear friend so much so that my dear friend will go up and not down, that my dear friend will increase and not decrease, that my dear friend will taste of your goodness and your mercy and of your love. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. Now, my dear friend, the first scripture that I want to read to you is from the book of Exodus, chapter 14, from verse 13 to verse 14. It says, And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again. The Lord will fight for you. And you only have to be silent. My dear friend, the Lord will fight for you. And you only have to be silent. I decree and declare, no matter what may come your way, to pull you down, to stop you, I decree and declare, you will make it through. You will come out shining on the other side. It will not stop you, because God will fight for you. God will deliver you. And you only have to be silent in Jesus' name. The next scripture, 
from the book of Isaiah chapter 40 from verse 29 to verse 31. It says, He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. I decree and declare, God will increase your strength as you trust Him. You shall mount up on wings like eagles. You shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint, because God is with you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. The next scripture is from the book of Isaiah chapter 41, from verse 10 to verse 11. It says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all who are incensed against you shall be put to shame and confounded. Those who strive against you shall be as nothing and shall perish. I decree and declare, God is with you. He will help you and he will uphold you. I decree and declare, any situation or evil that comes against you shall not prevail and you shall be successful whether the devil likes it or not. In Jesus' name. Amen and Amen. The next scripture is from the book of Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 2. It says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. And when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burnt. And the flame shall not consume you. I decree and declare, with the power in the name of Jesus, the waters will not sweep you over. And the flame shall not consume you. No matter what trying time may come against you, you will make it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, you will make it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Now the next scripture is also from the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, from verse 10. It says, For the mountains may depart, and the hills may be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed says the Lord who has compassion on you. I decree and declare, God's steadfast love will not depart from you. And nothing can stop the Lord from loving you. Nothing can separate you from the love of Christ. As we see in the book of Romans chapter 8, from verse 35 to verse 39, which is our next scripture that we shall read. The book of Romans chapter 8, from verse 35 to verse 39. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or danger, or sword? As it is written, For your sake we are being killed all day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors, through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angel, nor ruler, nor things present, nor things to come, no powers, no height, no depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. So I decree and declare, nothing shall separate you from the love of Christ. Nothing will make Jesus stop loving you. It shall be well with you. And I decree and declare, you are more than a conqueror in the name of Jesus. And you shall conquer and win in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now the next scripture is from the book of Isaiah chapter 54 from verse 17. It says, No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed. And you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and the vindication from me, declares the Lord. I decree and declare, nothing that comes against you to do harm will succeed in doing harm. No weapon fashioned against you shall prosper, and no curse sent against you will succeed in pulling you down. 
it will be broken immediately. In Jesus' name, I decree and declare, your vindication comes from God, and it shall be well with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. The next scripture is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31 from verse 8. It says, It is the Lord who goes before you. He will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. I decree and declare, God has gone before you and He is fighting for you. He is delivering you. He is seeing you through. In Jesus' name, amen. The next scripture is from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 29, verse 11. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. I decree and declare, God has great plans for you. Do not be discouraged, because God will fulfill those plans. I decree and declare, those plans, those good plans, that God has for you are coming to pass in the name of Jesus and it shall be well with you it shall be well with your family it shall be well with you in Jesus name amen the next scripture is from the gospel of John chapter 8 from verse 36 it says so if the Son sets you free you will be free indeed I decree and declare Jesus has set you free and that freedom is permanent and it is guaranteed. Receive your deliverance even today in Jesus name. The next scripture is from the Gospel of Mark chapter 11 from verse 24. It says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Right now I decree and declare, your prayers are being answered in Jesus name. God has heard your prayer and he is beginning to answer in Jesus name. The next scripture is from the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 9. It says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. I decree and declare, you will be strong and courageous even in this time because God is with you and God will never leave you. God will never forsake you. In Jesus name now the last but not the least scripture is from the book of Philippians chapter 4 from verse 19 it says and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus right now I decree and declare you will not have to worry because God will supply all your needs and it shall be well with you in Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. God bless you, my dear friend, and thank you for tuning in. From myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, and the GFM team, God bless you and goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.